What's up, everybody? It's Ryan Donnelly from RyanD.com. I'm going to talk about some ways to be more successful in your life. And the first thing is to stop accepting the life you have now. If you accept all aspects of your life, you're never going to improve. You have to be willing to push yourself and understand that, you know, I'm not happy where I am right now. You have to be willing to do whatever it takes to make your life better. Self-discipline is one of the key roles. Now, that means you have time every day to brush your teeth and take a shower. So that means you have time to work towards your goal. Don't work towards your giant goal every day. You make small goals each day that will work and build towards a large goal. And you have to stay consistent. No days off. That means just like brushing your teeth, you take a day off brushing your teeth, People will notice that funk, especially a shower. So you have time every day. You make time to work towards that goal, no matter what it is. If you want it bad enough, you can have it, no matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it's the largest goal on the planet. If you work every day and you work your ass off and you give it everything you have, you can accomplish it. Okay? <clears throat> if you have no goals and no direction, you will never have success. So goals are the main foundation to achieving what it is, whatever, could be anything. If you don't have the goals, you'll never be successful in anything. And you have to be willing to accept the fact that you have to be more. Okay, it's okay. You hear it all the time. It's okay to be you. It's okay to be, you know, mediocre and be like everybody else. Not everybody's driven. Not everybody has to be, you know, the next Bill Gates or, um, you know, Warren Buffett. And that's just because they're wealthy. I'm not talking about just wealth. I'm talking about people that are successful, people that are happy in their life, people that have reached their goals, people that push themselves each day and that are household names for a reason. Okay, if you are willing to do whatever you need to do, you will be a household name in whatever aspect it is you're working towards. Now, me for instance, I work my ass off. I've failed a hundred times, actually a thousand times, but I keep working towards more. Okay, I want to be able to achieve more. It's not that I want wealth. It's that I want my kids to be able to look at my life and be proud of it. Okay. I want to leave a legacy. I want them to see that no matter how many times you get knocked down and you get back up and you fight your ass off. Because if you don't, you're going to be a lemming. You're going to work for somebody else. You're going to be mediocre. And nothing scares me more than being mediocre, being a lemming and working for somebody else. So I want my, my kids, and I'm doing my best right now to not get emotional. I want them to see that no matter how many times you fail or how many times things don't go your way, you don't go cry in the corner. You don't sulk and make excuses. You, you get up, you brush yourself off, and you say, let's go for it. Fuck it. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to try something else. I'm going to figure something else out. I'm going to brainstorm. I'm going to create something new. I'm going to do whatever it takes to be what I want to be and what I am in control of. I want to be the one that runs things. I don't want to be the one that's sitting back in a conference room listening to somebody else tell me what to do. Okay, That's probably not as smart as you or me, but they worked their ass off to get there or they knew somebody, politics, whatever, doesn't matter. The bottom line is I don't ever want to be just another Ryan, okay? I want to be Ryan Donnelly. 
I want that name to mean something. Not now, not 10 years from now, but I want to be able to have people look back on my life and have something to say about it positively. I want my kids to look back on my life and say, yeah, that was my dad. My dad pushed through the hard times. He worked his ass off. He was a real man. He didn't lay down in the corner. Okay, so if you want something bad enough, you work your ass off to get it. And you never make excuses for yourself as to why you didn't achieve it. You brush yourself off, you get back up, and you do it over and over and over again until you achieve it. Okay? See you tomorrow.